Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's Focus Friday Additive Tips. This week, I want to go over Autodesk's Fusion 360 platform, where you can do CAD, CAM, computer-aided engineering, and PC board um, design within a platform software in a product preview called Biometric Latticing. We'll lattice that part and send it with interoperability of the softwares at Autodesk, send it to NetFab to show that uh, workflow. So we'll start off, I'll quickly sketch and design a uh, quick little box here and we'll lattice it and send it over to NetFab. We can quickly just create a box right in the sketch here and parametrically put in the sizes uh, or just slide over here and create this box. Uh, make this 100, I guess. You can also use a uh, sketch to round the corners out here with fillets. There's the sketch. And a nice feature of uh, Fusion 360 is this uh, press and pull. You can just quickly grab the arrow or put in the number there. We'll go 120 here. Quickly make this box. Nice little feature here under utilities. You can uh, display different uh, parts, different colors here by clicking on the display component colors. I like to use that. We're getting back into um, our design here. Shell it out. Select that. We'll go inside. Let's, let's make this uh, five millimeters. Hit OK. And we quickly made this box. Uh, in Fusion 360, you can see it's quickly, easily um, adaptable to create components. We also have under the help menu, a learning and documentation that walks you through sketching, designing, and doing all these other features within Fusion 360, generative design, for example, uh, CAM, you can uh, make G-code for your CNC machines. Here's a new feature. If you go to your icon here in the corner of Fusion 360 and hit preferences, you can get the um, preview section here and you want to select volumetric lattices, hit OK, and you'll be able to use this preview here under modify, it's called volumetric latticing. This is a nice new feature and it'll be added and changed over time, more features, um, the ability to do more things, but right now, we can select this part and quickly um, create a gyroid or cross um, XL Swartz P, Swartz D here. Uh, and you see how quickly that does that. It does it really quick. So if I quit, uh, pick the Swartz P, for example, I can go to um, move and rotate here. This just shows you. Um, how you can adjust the lattice here by using the little arrows and just slide them over in the X and Y. See there, quickly do that. We have uh, solidify, so it's at 0.5, but you can make it thicker by sliding over or thinner. Let's just put it at 0.60. And you can also offset meaning we can offset faces. For example, if I want the bottom to be solid, I can pick that face and then put the thickness in here. Let's just put this at 15 millimeters. And you see the bottom here thickened up and it's um, become solid. And I can also do the top. I just hit this plus sign. Get the top face there. We'll put that at 15 also, 15 millimeters. Hit OK here, and we've created this quick box. And I want to take this box and send it over to um, NetFab. We want to make this a mesh file before we send it to the NetFab software. So going under the bodies here, body of the part here, you can um, go to volumetric lattice actions, and we want to create a mesh of this part. And we'll do a medium refinement. You have high and low. OK, and it creates the mesh file quickly. 
now we have a mesh file. Now if you go to the utilities uh, toolbar up top and under the make here, um, you can quickly uh, pin it to your toolbar like I've done, hit NetFab and select the part and then the interoperability of Fusion 360 with NetFab, it'll open this part up in NetFab. Here we go, we have the part in NetFab where we can go ahead and set it up for different machines or whatever features within NetFab you want to use uh, for this particular part. That was this week's quick tip, just showing the interoperability of our uh, CAD uh, cloud-based platform, Fusion 360, and using NetFab to quickly uh, create a part and send it over and be able to do other features within NetFab. Thanks again for joining this week's Additive Focus Friday tip.